Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q3 of the weekly contest 416 count substrings that can be rearranged to contain string one. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. So this is Q3. Q4 is about um, 10 times bigger. Uh, N is 10 times bigger. Um, honestly, I don't know why they make it two, two problems. This is too easy of a problem to be a Q3. And maybe and definitely Q4, even the quote unquote harder version. Um, there are a couple of ways you can do about this one. Um, during the contest, just to get a little bit of disclosure, is that I actually doing I end up doing them together. Usually, I kind of separate them out and try to do the more easier one first. But honestly, for this problem, even the harder solution is not that bad as long as you keep track of things. I think. Um, and I'm going to try to live solve this problem in a dumber way or all of 26 way uh, or something that's about 26 times slower. Um, so leave me to it. De -de 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 -de. Right. Uh, yeah, but the idea here is sliding window and the sliding window is a little bit tricky. Uh, let me draw it out real quick. Uh, the idea behind sliding window is, you know, with respect to substring is a little bit tricky but nothing that um you know you just have to think about putting it precisely right so basically the idea is that okay you have you know you have some characters you know and i'm not going to write out the, the the other word too i'm just going to focus on the thing and let's say that um actually yeah, why, why not let's say we have c a b right so then here uh, the idea is that um, let's say we go from left to right, right? So here we got one A. Uh, okay, that's so. The idea is sliding window, right? So we have. To, let me actually change the color real quick. So here we have one A, right? Here we have one A, one B. We're no good, so we have to keep going. One A, one or one two A's, one B. No good, and then now we go to here. Now we have one C, one A, one B, so we know that this is a good substring. So what do we do? Well, the way that I did it is that I try to, sh you know, we've been moving the, the right side, you know, from left to right. So now it's time to move the left side from right to left, right? Uh, or left to right, sorry. But, uh, but the idea here is that now that the constraint is met, what we're trying to do is find an invariant. And here we, we move this to, you know, this all the way to here. Um, BAC still contains it, so we move it again. So now um, we move it to here, right? And then now AC no longer contains CAB. Um, and because, you know, you can rearrange it in any way, that's the way to think about it. So the way that I think about it is that, okay, um, we know that before, um, I mean, you could code it in, in any number of ways, but the idea here... I guess the more, okay, I, I think I, let me try again. Uh, I think the way that I explained it is a little bit weird. But here, now we know that we have C, uh, CAB and it's the last place that we have. The actual Im implementation may be slightly different and we'll go over why. But for visualization and for understanding, now we have BAC, right? And what does that mean? That means that as a substring, this, this can contain cap. And that means that um, now we talk about the degree of freedom. I think I, I kind of explained this a little bit backwards. Um, I think one thing that we want to talk about is contribution, right? And, you know, if you watch uh, uh, my videos a lot, I talk about this idea of contribution in sliding windows. And it is that basically you have to phrase the problem in a different way, or in a specific way, rather. Maybe not a different way, depending on how you do it. But it is that, okay, given the last character is C, which is part of this window, say, how many substrings and in C contributes to the answer, right? And then now here we know, um, once you say it that way, and I'm gonna write it again on the code, but uh, but yeah, so let's say you have it this way, right? Then now we know that this is the minimum length that it should have, the blue color. And then we, we talk about degree of freedom, which is, well, how many ways can we extend to the left? And that's basically the idea is that, okay, we know that this is, um, yeah, we can take an A, so we can take no A's, we can take one A, and that's, so So here, C's contribution is two, because we have two degrees of freedom, right? And then now, okay, let's say we slide again, right? So then, uh, let, me, let me erase this real quick. And then now we slide again, 
right? Uh, and then in this case, we need this, we need all of this, and again, we have one degree, oh, sorry, we have two degrees of freedom with A being the uh, latest character, right? Because here, we have BACA, and to get all the characters, we need all of these, and we have one A in the left, right? Um, yeah, we have one A in the left that we can or cannot have, so we have two degrees of freedom because we have zero A, one A, right? Uh, and then now, the next thing, it changes a little bit, right? Uh, so the, so then the next thing, eh, pretend I didn't cut it off that poorly. Okay, fine, I'll cut it off again. Uh, and then now we have the B, right? And then now with the sliding window, uh, I'm not going to you know, bore you with the details. You just move to the left. Uh, the others are implementation detail. You can, and basically this is the thing, right? So then now this is the, the substring that, um, the smallest substring that fits with B in the last character, right? So then now we can, how, how many degrees of freedom do we have? We can have zero, we don't extend, we extend zero length out, we extend one length out, two length out, three length out, right? Another way to say this is that we have cap, we have ACAB, BACAB, and then ABACAB. So we have four degrees of freedom. So that means that B's contribution is four. And that's basically the idea. And if you extend it next A, well, it doesn't change the C, so this is also four. And then now this C means that we our new substring is going to be BAC. It's the minimal one, but then everything to the left is going to be free to a uh, degree of freedom. So now we have six or something. Maybe it's, I think it's a six, maybe it's a five, whatever. But And then you sum it up and you get your answer, right? That's basically the idea. Um, and we can kind of implement it. I Like I said, I, I implemented the, the harder way um, for this one. So if you want to watch, you know, um, if you want to watch me explain that solution, go to the Q4 video. For now, let's live solve, um, live solve this uh, as this problem, right? Then now, here I go, okay. Uh, yeah, so, so the current is right, right? So then we want to, uh, eh. I mean, we want to just only keep track of things, right? So if, if current is in F, um, then now, we want to say C of current da, 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 right? So then now, um, for each key, we want to say, um, we, we, so, okay, let me step back for a second. So F is the frequency of all the characters in word two, because we can rearrange stuff. Uh, the frequency is all we need. And C is the current, um, um, the current, uh, count accounts for the window that we're in and we have the left and the right right going from you know yeah zero to n and then the extra thing is that uh what we're trying to figure out and i'll write it out later and it will come up later so i'm gonna write it here which is that uh what is the co contribution of word one sub right or of word one sub um uh, of words that ends in right to the solution right okay so now here we add and then now we just want to make sure that for every character in f um that we have a character in c so that's basically what we can do so then maybe we can do for um k in f dot keys if c dot k is greater than or equal to f dot k then we're good so we want all of these right so that means that for opposite um you know, so maybe good is equal to true. If this is the case, good is equal to false. You can actually write this in one Python statement, but I just want to write it out for, for y'all at home. All right, so then if good, then that means that... Um, actually, I want to... I mean, this is true. But... Um, yeah, well, I'll take it out, right? So then now... Right, so then if this is good, then we can do the window. But now, uh, if we add a character, right, uh, and if the string is good, what we actually want to do is shrink the left side. So that's basically what we want to do. Uh, well, good, uh, because basically we want to shrink the left side to give us more degree of freedom, right? So that's basically, yeah, that's basically what we want to do. So while it is good, we shrink the left side by subtracting from left, right? So, yeah. So we go uh, word one sub left. So current is equal to word one sub left. Uh, if current is an F, 
C of kern, we subtract it from the kern window, right? Uh, and then good is just equal to, again, uh, for k and f dot keys, if C of k is less than da -da -da -da, then good is equal to false, and we can maybe even break. Why not? Right? Uh, yeah, so that's basically it. And But the idea here is that, of course, yeah, do we have enough? Uh, so then the, so okay, what I want to say is that in, the invariant here at this part of the code is that um, the, 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 the substring from um, left to right is no longer good, but we want to check, but we wa want to check, or we want to know whether um, left minus one before we did this operation to right is good. And basically from left minus one to right is good. Um, yeah, basically I think if left is equal to um, yeah, um, the idea here is that it, we only move left if this was good. So I think if you just write if left is greater than zero, then now we can count the degree of freedom. What is the degree of freedom? Well, the degree of freedom is actually turns out is just left, right? Because left is um, because left is the index of the um, the character not including left. So if you count it out. I think it should be count, or maybe it's left plus one, I think. So that's basically the idea, and yeah. Ooh, that's not right. Oh, I, I never increment, that's why. Yeah, uh, whoops. But yeah, and, and then now we can just give it a submit. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Uh, so this is just sliding window, as we say. Um, but, oh yeah, I'll, I'll add the additional comment of if we moved left, then it was good once. So then, yeah, that's basically the idea. And the degree of freedom, we just kind of keep going. And of course, you can also say that, um, you know, in a weird way, implicitly, you, you could even remove this, but it looks kind of confusing. So I'm going to keep it in here, right? And yeah, and that's pretty much it. So what's the complexity here, right? So this is going to be O of n number of loops. Um, the thing is that this good function takes O of alphabet, O of A for alphabet, which is 26, right? So that means that this is going to be O of, uh, in total, it's going to be, um, and I know that there's a while loop in here, but for each character in n, it, it gets added once and subtracted once. So we, we're doing it twice. Um, so it's going to be still, O of n times a, which is eh, maybe fine, maybe not, right? But uh, but in terms of real numbers, n is equal to uh, ten to the fifth, right? And a is going to be equal to twenty six. So this is just roughly, um, you know, two point six mil, which I guess is fast enough, even if you want to times it by two, because we do it twice, as we said. But yeah, um, that's all I have for this one. Uh, if you want the the um, the Q4 quicker solution, um, and that is more of an implementation thing. Check that out. And yeah, let me show you. Let me make the code slightly smaller so you could see all of it. I forgot to make it bigger, but okay. But yeah, that's all my code with the comments. And yeah, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And you could watch myself this one next. 3, 12, 15. All right. I don't know if this is fast enough. We'll see. I thought it would be too slow, honestly. That's why I didn't do it. All right, how are we doing on time? Q4, people already got it. 102 of you already got it, so I'm really behind today because I just doubted myself on the timing on that one. That is also another impossible to guess problem, right? So I don't know. Um, maybe not. Maybe, I would, maybe I'm wrong because I analyzed it incorrectly. All right, all right focus. Word one, word two. Do, 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 do. To have word two as the prefix. Uh, x number of radit of substrings of word two. Okay, so web okay, so ABC. 
Okay, that makes sense. Uh, oh, substrings, not sub. Um, okay. Hmm. Oh no, but you could rearrange them, right? That's the point. Yeah, okay. I mean, this is... Oh, it... it's... Oh, people are very fast on this, actually. Oh, maybe not, I don't know. What's the difference? Is it just a bigger... Uh, I mean, I guess that's nice, but that's dumb still. Okay, anyway. Is it a set function thing again? So basically, we ask. Yeah, okay. We, we just need a thing, right? Okay, f is equal to collection start counter of word two, right? Um, and then we want um, which we call factorial. Uh, is there not a mod thing? Oh, I guess substring is never going to be mod. But do I not need factorial for this? I don't know. Well, oh, it's only up to 20. No, that's not true. Maybe not. Maybe I don't need. Maybe. I don't know. What am I doing? Okay. And it's substring, not just. It's not not the count, it's a count substring. So it's a sliding window. Right. What does sliding window look like? So then we minimize. But everything before that is fine. That's the minimum requirement. Yeah, okay. So that's why it is not n factorial. Because it doesn't Oh yeah, because it's ratted, not count the number of things. Okay. Yeah, I was too slow on Q2. I was just confused by it. Uh, for X in word one. Right. Um. Yeah. Okay, and then now we want to say do, 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 but we actually want f first you go to word two. Okay, so it's 10 times bigger, so I can't do the thing. It's just the thing, the trick with the uh, thing, right? So then this, we just do um, and then we have to count how do we I mean, this is pretty straightforward, I think. So we only care about current in C. 
right? Uh, in yeah. Movement. Same F. Um, then now, if C of current is greater than zero, we just subtract it. Otherwise, C of current, then it is going to be negative. Or well, now it's going to be zero, right? So then now, if C of current negative zero, uh, yeah, I don't. Else, extra of current increment by one, say. So we could have it later. Um, okay. Uh, if it's equal to zero, we delete it. Okay. So that's the increment. And then now. Okay. So then now, if length of C is greater or equal to zero, then now the left side is going to be good. So then it's. And so then left is the number of things, right? So count is going to be, you go to left plus one. Um, yeah. How do we know when to increment? Or decrement. Okay, so then. No, no, I don't want this. I bring, I want something like, well, length of c is equal to zero. We increment, right? So then current is equal to word one dot left. And then now we go, if current in extra, extra, we just subtract it back. If extra of current is equal to zero, we delete it. Okay. Um, otherwise, then we want to add it back to C. So C of current is equal to increment by one. Um, that's only if we care about it. So if current, if current not in F, we continue, I guess. Okay. So then now we, yeah, okay. And then now we're done, then left is going to be the thing, right? Um, okay, so before we do it, we go, okay. Now, what, what do we want exactly? Because you want to shrink. Otherwise, then uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay, yeah, yeah. I see. So then now, if right minus left is greater than um, the number of characters, it's going to be one. One is greater than length of word two. Then we just add left plus one, right? Something like that. 302, that's not right at all. Um, we have do, 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 and then, so we go all the way. Um, Okay, so we got enough characters, but that doesn't mean that this was done before. Uh, 
right? Because, okay, so we have three characters, we, we have some stuff. So we have to trigger it once, right? I guess if good, this is fine. Uh, left actually is going to be the one over it, so I think this is fine. One ten zero. Um, yeah, let's yolo it. I think this is mostly right. Maybe not. I don't know. Am I? Um. Yeah. Okay. Um. I think this is linear too, so I think this should work. Um. One ten zero. Let's see. If it times out, then you know the code just sucks. Um, yeah, I mean, I I took too long on Q2. I think I just misunderstood what Q2 was. Did someone get in two minutes because of chat? Yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this contest. Uh, yeah, I thought this contest was kind of crap, but yeah, uh, stay good, stay healthy, do good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye bye.